has been my home for over six months now. However, I hadn't ever visited the northwest side of this beautiful island. Recently, I felt called to explore this area, and it was an experience that will stay in my heart forever. Hey teman-teman, welcome back to another vlog here in Bali. Today is my 22nd birthday, so I'm 22 now and it honestly feels like yesterday that I was just vlogging my 20th birthday. Today is my birthday and I'm officially 20 years old. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! <laughs> So much has changed within two years, so you know, we're always changing, growing, and evolving. So, allow yourself to do that, just be you as you are in the present moment. And if you haven't yet watched my 22 lessons I learned in 22 years, every year I make a video about the lessons I learned, so I'll link it down below in the description box if you want to watch that after this video. So, this isn't our usual villa, we're actually staying at Sumbakima Hill, which I'll give you a whole tour of this incredible villa we are staying at in just a moment but yeah if you are new here to the channel I'm currently living in Chenggu in Bali which is the south of the island but yesterday we drove two and a half hours on the scooter mind you Josh drives quite fast although he's very very safe of course and we made it safely to the north of Bali after two and a half hours and my butt was very very sore but it was so so worth it both of us have never visited the northwest of Bali before and it has just made me fall in love with Bali all over again as you'll see throughout the vlog this area is so so incredibly beautiful so peaceful and really quite different to the south and Uluwatu where I went last month so thankfully we can still travel within Bali and hopefully through my Bali vlogs you can truly see just how beautiful Bali is all the different places you can visit and the diversity here the diversity in landscapes in the scenery and even different cultures and this place we're staying at Sumbakima Hill has every Everything from villas to your own pool in your villa, a gym area, a spa, I can do massages which I'm definitely going to do today and I'm just super super excited for today for our trip here. Really really so grateful, I keep saying that, but also for you guys, thank you for being in my life. So we're going to have breakfast first and on the side here at Sindakima they have a restaurant which is just up there so we can go up these stairs. Let's go. So something I really love about this place as well is that they're very health and eco-friendly. So here at the restaurant they have lots of nourishing meals and you can have breakfast, lunch and dinner here. And we had the food yesterday, it is absolutely amazing so we're going to go get some breakfast. come now and this morning I've got an oat porridge I love my oats so there is banana inside peanut butter um, dark chocolate so good dates and cashew nuts and it smells amazing <gasps> chocolate mm. Mm. Right, so this is our villa here the front door we are staying at Villa Mado and this villa is absolutely incredible we were blown away when we came in so I'll show you inside so just at the front here I've noticed that most villas here in Bali have a statue of Ganesha and Ganesha is the goddess of abundance and some other things I don't remember exactly but yeah you're greeted here by Ganesha So as you come in, you then have some stone steps. So this here is our front garden. I'll show you this place first. So firstly here, we have a really cute gondola. Really, really cool spot, very relaxing and comfy. And then we come over this side and we have much bigger garden, lots of space. And over here, I'd say is the highlight of the whole villa. 
as you can see, it is our pool. It is really big and right behind me you have an incredible view of the ocean. I have some islands and mountains out there. It's like what dreams are made of here in Bali. So this, the pool is like an infinity pool. The weather here in North Bali, I've noticed, is quite different to the south of Bali, which is Chengdu, where we are staying at. It's not too hot these days or humid, but when you go up to the north of Bali, the sun is much stronger. It's a lot more hot and humid too. So that's an interesting fact. A beautiful pool. <laughs> So you have a little deck here along the pool, you can rest there by the chairs. It's a beautiful day as well, sunny blue sky. So something I love about this place is the garden. I love nature, I love flowers and they've just maintained it so 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 well. Lots of beautiful green trees, it's just really green here. So at the front of the villa you have a really nice hammock and you can just chill here, rest. And a great place to read our book, we both bought our books. <gasps> Oh, baby! Baby! Oh. A hen and her babies! So then when you go onto this side, you are now entering into a beautiful villa. So over here on this side, you have a very big dining table, all wooden. Great for families. So this villa has two bedrooms, or oh, three actually, so it's great for families. We just got the whole villa to ourselves. We then have a relaxing kind of living room area, which is outdoors. What's that, Jess? What? What's that? <laughs> it's a little surprise for me. Maybe we can cut the camera. Oh! 22 things I love about you. Ready? I just saw it. Maybe, should I read it now? So this is our beautiful seating area, like a living room. And we have a very comfy, super comfy sofa here. Got a nice wooden table, wooden chairs. So it's very nature-based. Very nice to just chill here and look at the beautiful view in front of you. So yeah, apparently Josh says that there is a surprise for me in there. So I'll turn the cameras off now so that we can enjoy it. And then I'll show you the tour inside. Okay, so Jazzy doesn't know there's a little surprise for her hidden here. I was kind of filming her doing the little tour and um, the staff rolled together as I took a Away jazz for a bit of brekkie <laughs> and um you know help me out deliver a little cute <laughs> gift or a little surprise so yeah i'd say just just surprised me and yeah it was quite emotional but yeah i can show you inside now so when you come in lots of big glass doors for this one and when you come in first here we have our kitchen and this was part of the surprise that Josh had for me. This is the kitchen, very spacious and big so if you want you can bring your own food and cook it here. Come over onto this side, it's like another mini little seat seating area. Like I mentioned there are two bedrooms in here so I'll show you the bedroom that we picked. Here. Come in. And we have a lovely bed here with the mozzie net, which always makes it feel like you're on a romantic holiday. And then the staff also set out this really cute, like two swans, they're towels, but I love how they make it into like two love beds. Cool. <laughs> and the bed, may I mention, is so comfortable. Last night, it felt like we were sleeping on a cloud. I really love how they have Balinese style paintings as well, so it really has a nice Bali touch. And then over on this side is our bathroom, so open this big door, come on in. So we have a very big outdoor bathroom, it is so so cool and nice because it's just outdoors and you get to shower under the stars or just under the sky. And then here, look how cool this basin is, it's like a stone. And they've carved out really nicely, a really cool tap. So the architecture here is something I really appreciate. So we have two showers here, one over there, one on that side. Really cool and very spacious. Love the greenery here. I just love all the plants here. This is so cool as well. This is definitely something done in Bali. So this fish wants to kiss you, Jazz. Because... Okay, you're this fish then. 
and yeah this is the second bedroom just to the left of the kitchen so we're not occupying this at all it's a spare bedroom if you have a big family it's perfect so come on in carefully similar very similar style just on the opposite side here actually there's another kids bedroom so you come in in this way and here is a bedroom that you would say is like a kids bed so there's a bunk bed and then over here is the second bathroom for this bedroom again it's similar to our one Come in. yes yeah, so we have one shower over there big mirror and basin so this is the tour of our beautiful incredible villa here at Sundakima and if you're wondering where I got this dress from as well it's from one of my favorite stores here in Bali called Bambi Blonde it's like the dress of my dreams I feel like an actual princess in this I'm glad you kissed the fish because then I can be the prince <laughs> lunchtime and we decided to get room service so that's another thing I love they can bring prepare the food in the kitchen and bring it straight to your villa which is really nice I've got a big plate of nasi goreng Josh has a little Vidi burger yeah tempeh, tempeh, tempeh it's so burger. cute so cute and some fries tempeh, just. call that taters in Bristol mm. what your tempeh crisp mm. been, eyeing that, been eyeing that one up as you can tell <laughs> There's no Photoshop we can help this one, guys, is there? Oh. Sorry, Mum. Mm. Oh, so good. Mm. What is your favourite thing about this stay so far? The diversity. That would be the word. Every corner you look, it, like all the details have been thought out. That's probably my number one. And then customer service and staff because I kind of liaised with them for lots of surprises. My favourite thing about this place is being able to share it with you. Oh. Happiness oh. is real when shared. Yeah. Oh, that looks like milk. So ginger beer, this one, is strong. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> Alright, so I also wanted to update you guys about the breathwork program that I'm doing. So, so far I have done two sessions with my mentor, Yana. It's been changing my life in a really positive way because doing breathwork brings up so much. It's so healing, but it's also like doing inner child work, shadow work, and this is something I've really been focusing on recently. Just knowing when my triggers happen, why it's triggered, and healing that inner wounded child so that I don't react in the same way. And when you do inner child healing and shadow work, you know, owning the aspects of yourself that you usually disown, that can bring up a lot of emotions. It is okay to be emotional. You're not too much for being emotional. It is just energy in motion. So when you allow that and you don't suppress it, this creates inner harmony. This creates balance and it's better for your physical health, emotional health and mental health. <laughs> Were you doing that the whole time? You've done breath work before, haven't you? Yeah, it brings up a lot. Yeah, I think the first time I did it, it was a bit confusing. I, I think it's just that element of pushing past that boundary your body is putting up for you to release the emotional tension that's built in there. And you get tingles in your fingers. I got lots of tingling in, your, in my lips. Mm, yeah, I definitely felt a lot lighter after both sessions. Breathwork is becoming more spoken about, but needs more attention, I think. I need to breathe after that. <laughs> Another thing I've learned as well is that it's okay to not have your life figured out because you're always on a journey, you're always changing, growing, evolving. There's a beauty in not knowing and I really have just come to accept that I don't have to have everything figured out. It's okay to be beautifully messy and just embrace that. Life is a lot more fun, adventurous and even joyful when you embrace the unknown and not try to set expectations on everything or feel like you should be something or you should be doing something, just allowing yourself to be to be human and embrace that today has been the best birthday i have ever 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 had so yet to finish it we've got a, mm -hmm. a dinner and a massage to look forward to now you you're quite a simple one aren't you mm, you yeah, just like I simple pleasures just being with loved ones excited for tomorrow see you tomorrow see you tomorrow Gorgeous. Sorry. good morning it's the next day and 
We are going canoeing. Canoeing. At Simakima, they offer these canoe trips in the morning. It's about 8 a.m. That is, yeah. There's some canoeing together. And snorkeling as well, I think, at the end of it. So. Well, we're right in front of the beach there. Can't wait. I'm a bit nervous, but... Be alright, Jess. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you ready? Ready. So we just did some snorkeling, as you can see I have the mask, but it was so beautiful, so a lot of coral here. This is a conservation area for corals, so it's really, really beautiful, they're planting lots, trying to restore the area. Yeah, so that was fun. Yeah, it's fun. S snotty noses, lots of snotty noses. <laughs> What's the coolest thing you've seen, Dad? Um, just the fish. Oh, the blue starfish. There were big blue starfish. So cool. Selamat datang di konservasi terumbu karang tim Metamorfosa. Kita di sini punya baby coral seperti patung monkey statue, turtle statue. Baby coral itu ada yang warna merah, biru, hijau. Semua banyak lah. Kita kita bekerja di sini sudah. Selama dua tahun penanaman itu sekitar segini, baby koralnya itu sekitar baru dua tahun. Ya sekian dan terima kasih. This is our guide for today. Koman? Kadek. Oh kadek, maaf maaf. Kadek. Muliasa. Ya muliasa. Ah muliasa. Kadek muliasa. So we have arrived at Gili Puti Sumber Kima now. It's one of the islands out in the ocean. It took about five minutes to kayak from the previous conservation spot. And it is so, so beautiful here. Got the whole view of the mountains right in front of the mainland in Bali. The sand is quite white and the water is crystal blue and really calm as well. Look at that. It is quite a small island. The end is just over there, so it kind of goes in a curve. back from the trip now in total I think it was around four hours so it's 12 o'clock now overall this morning it was such a fun trip I felt really alive and even though the Sun was quite strong we put on sunscreen it was really interesting to visit the coral reef that was definitely my favorite part and doing snorkeling there and just seeing the conservation work that they are doing so if you do do this activity here at Sambikima Hill which is organized by them when you pay for this canoe tour you are supporting the conservation of the coral reef which is amazing for the evening Josh has organized something it's a bit of a surprise again. If you're watching this right now, don't forget to hydrate. So it's lunchtime, got our lunch, and basically we're doing a swap of yesterday. Oh, so Josh has the nasi goreng, I have the tempeh burger, so cute! Mm -hmm. There's a family, a mother and a few little chickens that come around to the garden every day. They have the same route, they have the same road map. <laughs> what was your favourite part of the canoe trip? The snorkelling, because I've not done snorkelling in such a long time. Seeing a barracuda, baby barracuda about that bit. Ah. That was cool. Yeah. How about yours, Jess? Just snorkeling. Snorkeling too. Snorkeling too. Oh, yeah. snap. Underwater it's beauty. Natural beauty, isn't natural it? Natural like beauty, underwater beauty. The creation of fish and all mm. the different species and colours. There was a moment of time actually, I was out, out there and I was trying to look around for you. You were not to be seen. I was doing the like, same to you. Really? Yeah. Because I thought I'd lost you and I thought you were. Oh. I was getting really worried and then really? I seen you up on there. Oh. 
luckily on the deck and I was like, thank God she's alive. How are we doing, team? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh, honey, honey. You want supper? So last night, Josh surprised me with a cake. I didn't know we were going to get cake on my birthday. It's all plant-based. It's like a cheesecake. Chocolate mango cheesecake. And it's like... Do a taste, oh. Josh, Josie. <gasps> Mm. Mm. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Bon appetit. <laughs> Bellissimo. What do you say in Chinese if it's oh. like nice? In Chinese? Like good manners to say, oh, it's great. Hatsu! <laughs> Hatsu! all the, the food hen. goes everywhere. Hatsu! <laughs> Hatsu! So we are going on a sunset, what is it? Sunset dinner. Um, sunset cocktails. Oh, not uh, mocktails. Mocktails. I think we're getting picked up. By the, is it the buggy? The shuttle, yeah. Oh, the shuttle. So they're going to take us to the beach. I think it's the okay. beach, or it's somewhere. Um, somewhere floaty. <sighs> we have arrived at the boat port again, the same place we came to this morning. Oh, First, we're heading into this. Oh, <laughs> we can flip flop. Flip flop somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay, so my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the princess. Ready? Big foot oh. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we take a seat on here. Up again. This is cool. Either way. Oh, we have arrived at this little what is it like a raft on the water isn't it a yeah, restaurant it's, yeah. on water not really a restaurant but a place you can have a picnic or eat on water floating oh, cheers to we've got um, mocktails mocktails chin chin the lime here's some finger food oh lovely thank you <laughs> <laughs> like see. yeah the sunset is right in front of us Ooh. Was a, oh tempeh <gasps> sweet potato not proper Tempeh. Oh. Potato, I'm guessing. Mm. Good crisp. What's that? Mm. Veggie samosa or something. It's tofu. Mm. Inside, they put rice noodles, carrot, and they fried it on the outside. You didn't hear that, Jazz? You didn't hear that? Fart. Oh, you did. Yeah, you okay. farted. I did. <laughs> Watching the sunset here was a really unique and memorable experience. Witnessing the local Bali life was eye-opening and definitely made us connect more with this island too. Our four-day stay at Simbakima came to an end the next day. However, it's a place that touched our hearts and we will return to for sure in the future. Being surrounded by nature every day truly brought us a lot of happiness and spending quality time with a loved one was important for deeper connection. On the way back to Chenggu, we came across a stunning scenery and when we saw this view, it really reminded us of why we choose to live in Bali.